Natalia Bonner. Welcome back. Happy Let's Stitch a Year of Stars, May. This month, I am going to be showing you how to machine quilt a double X quilt block. Now, I do have a class where I teach you step-by-step -step how to machine quilt this quilt block in 12 more versions. So hop over to our website, peaceandquilt.com. You can register for that class and gain access to all 12 videos right now. Let's get stitching. I'll start out this fun block by using my 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler with the piece and quilt pop socket ruler grip. I like to start quilting on the left side of my block. So it's as if you're standing here behind my machine. So starting on the left side of my block, I'm going to work in that first top triangle. You could work in any triangle. I'm just choosing to work one at a time. So in that first triangle, I'm going to stitch evenly spaced straight lines, starting right along my ditch, and then from there, I'm lining the first marked line on my four-in-one machine quilting ruler right on top of my previous stitch line and adding echo lines to fill in that space completely. Once I finish that section, now I'm going to move to my next triangle, the blue triangle. This time, I'm going to stitch figure eights through that triangle, filling it in completely. Once I have that triangle complete, now I'm going to move on to my third triangle. On my third triangle, so now I'm back to a white background filler triangle. I'm again going to add those angular lines, lining my ruler up, starting along the side of that ditch. So by using that ditch, I know that I have the right angle and my lines will just radiate off from that. I don't have to measure and mark and hope that my lines match up with each other because I'm starting right on that same line and then working out from there. I know that my lines will work out and look like they're kind of wrapped behind my triangle. All right, let's move on to the next one. So now we're back to an orange triangle. On this one, I again, I'm going to go back to the figure eights. I'm going to fill in this block with those evenly spaced figure eights. Now when I'm quilting the figure eights, I'm always kind of looking a little bit ahead. I want them to start out small and then get bigger as I get to the center and then small again as I work my way to the opposite side. Now, if you need somewhere to practice these designs, we have created an awesome companion workbook that has all of the designs in the workbook where you can sketch right over the lines that we've marked out for you and just practice doodling. Doodling is your friend. You can pick up the companion year of blocks sketchbook workbook over on our website, peaceandquilt.com. So now I have the first section complete. I'm kind of breaking this block down into quadrants, into four quadrants as I quilt it. So I'm moving on now to the second quadrant, and again I'm going to quilt all of my white triangles using those straight lines. On your 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler, you'll see that the first marked line on that ruler is a quarter of an inch. So when I stitch those echo lines, I'm lining that first marking up with my first stitch line. By doing that, because I have a ruler foot on my machine, I know that all of my lines will end up spaced a half an inch apart and I haven't done any measuring. And you can do that with all of the markings on the four in one machine quilting ruler. Now I'm moving on to my next block. So this block is a square. If you look closely here, you can see that I'm still using those markings on my machine quilting ruler but I line them up to start with my orange triangle that's just below the square. On camera here, obviously looks like it's above the square. So I can use lines that are on other blocks as my reference points to help me line up my ruler and stitch out those nice straight lines. Now that I have that block complete, I'm going to move on to my next triangle, the orange triangle again, 
again I'll start out by stitching in the ditch I love the look of stitch in the ditch so you can see me do it on most of my quilts all right so in this next white triangle I actually chose to hold the ruler again using that same line on my orange triangle so I'm holding it back behind the foot now to fill in that white triangle with those straight lines so using the same reference point that I used on my square down on that triangle now go through and fill in that next triangle with some figure eights. The thread that I'm using here is so fine, color number 402. I love this thread. It's one of my very favorite threads to use. Like you can see here, I'm using it on multiple colors and it really blends really nicely. All right, so now I'm moving on to my next square in that quadrant. Again, I'm using that same side of the orange triangle as my reference point to start out stitching those angular lines right through the square block. Now after this, I'll have the top half of my block complete. I'm going to repeat that same process now, moving down to the bottom half of my block.
I love how this block turned out. Such a fun combination of free motion quilting and ruler work. Now, if you want to find even more inspiration for these fun double X quilt blocks, make sure you do hop over to our website, peaceandquilt.com, and you can register for our full class. Have a great day, everybody.